Is Oprah happier than you are? How about Jennifer Lawrence or George Clooney? All right, I admit it. I haven't actually asked any of them about how happy they are. But I'm willing to go out on a limb with you and say they might be. It's not for the reasons you might think, however. Not because they have so much money that they don't have to worry about where the mortgage or tuition payments will come from, or because they jet around the world on a whim, or grace the covers of magazines. I would bet they're happy because they're doing what they love what they feel they were born to do. They'll probably never spend the mountains of money they have. Money doesn't drive most people who are doing what they love. Some may not even know their exact income or net worth. Now, admittedly, George, Jennifer, and Oprah are TV and movie stars, people you might not be able to relate to or feel you can learn from. But here's a less extravagant, far less famous example. Me. I was born into abject poverty in the Deep South. My father was a sharecropper, my mother and grandmother were field hands and housemaids. Extreme economic struggle is something I am very familiar with. Yet, my passion for people and an internal drive to play a part in making the world a better place for everyone was something that I have loved from the very beginning. It inspires and fuels me. It's my passion and I firmly believe my purpose. Over the years, I've turned my passion into a fairly successful career. First as an internal human resources professional and now, really since 1987, as an independent organization development consultant, executive coach, and personal growth expert. I feel certain that the way I use my gifts expresses exactly who I was born to be. My book, Lies That Limit, is filled with stories of people who ignored their dreams, and our work together allowed them to shed the limiting labels, illusions, excuses, and stories so they could use their gifts and talents in pursuit of their deepest desires. I believe doing what you love makes you happy and it makes you feel more willing to work through life's inevitable obstacles and challenges. Get creative. Find a way to do at least some of what you love. If your passion and purpose are not aligned with your full-time profession and you don't feel that you can make a big change, inject passion into your current role. Find a way. Add elements of what you love into other parts of your life such as your relationships or paid or volunteer activities. Doing what you love is enlivening. Find outlets for expressing your passion and sense of purpose. They're there, waiting for discovery. Those opportunities are at the ready. Keep a lookout and keep at it until you make it happen. Don't get trapped by the illusion that it will just happen if it's supposed to happen. Don't believe stories about magical overnight sensations. Everything worthwhile requires your energy. It takes commitment, perseverance, and a degree of risk-taking to create conditions that allow you to spend your days doing what you love. And when you love what you do, your sense of passion and purpose will carry you through the tough times. Take the journey to your own happiness and fulfillment. It can be yours if you go for it.